Hey guys, what's up? Let's go for the review of the day one. First, le let's pull off all the excuses and get them out of the way. Yes, there were only a few hours for Yenteze to prepare for this tournament after the Sibylol final. Yes, they had a six hour jet lag and had to go to another hemisphere within two days. Yes, they prepared for Sibylol on 5.6 and now it's 5.7. And yes, the Chiefs had 10 days to prepare against INTZ, which who are one of the favorites. But if you come as a favorite, you should be able to be in the top four no matter what. And there was enough time before the Sibylol final for the analysts to do the exact same job. So no excuses. Now game one against Chiefs. We saw a very well prepared Chiefs and an ENTZ team who lost the game from the beginning. What happened is clearly ENTZ had no idea what the Chiefs wanted to do while the Chiefs knew exactly where ENTZ were going. League of Legends is also a game where you outplay another team with the tactics and this is what happened against the Chiefs. ENTZ were not prepared enough and they got outplayed on the tactical aspect. Also, a huge props to the mid laner of the Chiefs who did a really good job snowballing his lead on Leblanc. His Leblanc was on point, he was always at the right time, at the right position and he managed to almost always pick someone out of the fight even before the fight happened for the objectives. And what we had yesterday is a very good Chiefs team and in front of them, an uh, INTZ team, Yente, the team sorry, uh, which was... Um, yeah, they were just lost. A good point for INTZ was their team fight. They had pretty good team fights and the Chiefs had some difficulties to close out the game. So it is not all lost, it is still the INTZ we love. They were just probably too tired and now they need to make some analysis of the team they will play against and they should be able to play a lot better. Now let's go into the game 2 against Detonation. Honestly, it was far from a good game from INTZ. The Japanese team did not give any resistance. They even g gave away on a silver platter some really easy dives under the tower, which INTZ performed very poorly. They really did not execute their dives perfectly and they ended up giving away kills that they should have never given. So no, it was not a good game from INTZ but it was a very important point because if they lost against Detonation, I don't think they would have made it to the semi-final. In this game against Detonation, there were many failed rotations when Mikon was actually on the other side of the team fight and then Young had to run in the middle with Revolta to try to defend him and at the same time we had talkers with Azir trying to run after a team fight and this was just very poor and against a better team they should never have won this kind of team fight. But in the end it is Mikon having the first quadra kill of the tournament and yeah, a, quadra, a quadra kill is always great to see and he deserves it because he really carried the team yesterday. Now let's talk about the other teams. The Bangkok Titans played very well. Their region is uh, one of the best uh, here in the international wildcard. And yes, yeah, they just performed very well and they are still favorite. Besiktas lost against Bangkok, but they are still pretty good uh, into the standings and they should make it to the semi-final. I don't see how they would not manage to do it. And the Chiefs is the good surprise of this tournament. Beating INTZ was not a given and they had pretty good fight against other teams. So yeah, now my top three is the Oceania team, the Chiefs, the Bangkok Titans and Besiktas. And if INTZ manages to get the top four, then it would be good enough. It will all depend on today's match. In fact, they only have to win against the Russians and one of the two teams of uh, Bangkok or um, Besiktas, so it is far from over. It should still be a pretty easy way to the semi-final and I believe the semi-final is where INTZ will manage to shine and show their real strength. And last but not least, the real hero of the day one was Hekarim, 
which was banned only one time in the last game and he was played in the sixth first game and won the sixth first game. So if you want to win, play Ekarim.